Yo, welcome to the channel. This is the Rap 2K, and today, man, we got that Kerr loyal to a fault. Yo, I actually like this album over. Oh, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, top three in Philly right now. You know, you got the Uzi Vert. Uzi Vert was number one. You know who's number two? Mr. Meek Mill. And Kerr is number three, yo. I gotta say, yo, um, Kerr, he's been doing this thing these last two, three years. I kind of found out about him. It was that uh, two years ago. I kind of fucked with the song Distractions. I like the song 20 to 40, and I like everything up. He got a couple other songs that I'm fucking with, like the song Crack. Um, yo, he a real, just like a introspective artist, you feel me? Um, he give you a lot of grief topics, you feel me? Like, just a lot of how to deal with things topic, yo. I fuck with it. Yo, song number one straight out the gate on this show. I like the Machine Gun Rap Show. Like, yeah, yo. He said, back to back dealing with grief. I need to go sit on the beach. I did like that on song number two. He said, I ain't switching for no bitch. It's more the fuck on song number three. I definitely agree with that shit. I definitely agree with that shit, Curry. Yeah, do it. <laughs> My nigga, Curry. Say that shit for me. <laughs> yo, song number six. Yo, I like the song Song. I like the sample on that, but it's not one of my favorite songs by Carrie. You feel me? Like that Herman's blanket, yo. He said came a long way. I used to wear the K Swiss. Oh, everybody had to pay a K Swift. You feel me? It was like knock off Adidas. You feel me? Um, song number eight wasn't too much. It was probably one of my lowest songs. Song number eight and song number twelve. Song number twelve a little personal, but they was two my lowest songs on here. Um, that song pressure, yo. I fucking with that song a lot. And song number 11, he said you were broke and I was broke too, yo. Listen, I just had that type of situation just having an August show. I, I was not dealing. I was broke. Nigga, broke. <laughs> and niggas asked me for money. I'm just like, nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, yo. Um, he said, don't record without me knowing. Have some respect on song number 10. I did like that bar. He said, when shit was fucked up, you tell me who was helping on song number 12. I did like that bar too. Um, impact on this album, I don't feel like it's too much of a big impact because honestly, y'all, I don't really hear people talking about Kerr too much. I'm not going to lie to you. The bars on here definitely um, somewhere. I give it an A. I give it an A. You feel me? And the creativity, I give it a B. You feel me? A B minus. You feel me? Um, Kerr. I kind of feel like the albums are kind of the same, like the same path pattern, you feel me? This is a little bit more, I feel like this album is just a little bit more marketable than your last albums, you feel me? Because that last album, I feel like it was one of your best albums. And it's just the album cover kind of, it's depressing looking at the album cover, you feel me? Um, Yo, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, yo. Y'all tell me what y'all think about Kerr. I fuck with Kerr. Um, definitely go check out his last album because his last album is definitely a classic, yo. Facts.